This is a broken cement drill. I've never tried this with a cement drill before, but we're going to try to make a punch out of it. I'm sure it will work with an ordinary drill, but not so sure about the cement drill. So let's give it a try. We'll start by taking the mess off the end of the drill. Now we'll just check and see how hard this feels. <laughs> yep, it's taken a lot off there, so it's not very hard. That means we have to harden that end of the drill. Now usually this end of the drill is softer on most drills. That's why sometimes when you take it out of the chuck you'll see a little burr on it. It, it scraped it up. So we're going to harden this end because this end is the end that we're going to use for the punch. It's going to make contact with whatever we're punching. Oh, so we'll do that right now. Into the water it goes. That's just plain water. And we pulled the whole thing off pretty good. That should be pretty hard and we're going to take it over to the vise and check that out. All right, we'll give it the file test again here. Oh yeah, much harder. Well, let's hope it's not too hard. We've got some half inch stock here in the saw. We're going to cut that off to about four and a half inches long at the end. We're going to put a little recess at the end of this, just above where the narrow goes. Now we're going to use a really big rough file to put a little bit of taper on this end. And now we're using a letter D, that's 246 thousandths, uh, to put a hole in this end. Now 
And we just slowed the spindle down and we're going to try to put a little bit of knurl on here. This did not come out as nice as I thought it would. To start off with, that's not the best knurl I've seen, although it doesn't matter a whole lot for something like this. But my letter D drill must have had a little bit of wobble or a little bit of wobble on this in the chuck, and the hole was too big to press fit this drill in, and it was sloppy. I ended up having to braise it in. Now the end did harden up nice. I gave it a few whacks against something really solid and it didn't shatter. So it is a functional punch and it's made from a drill that was totally broken and useless. And not very much more metal than that was, I don't know what we, we've got here, maybe 25, 30 cents worth of metal here. And you've got a punch that will work. So uh, I certainly hope you'll do a better job than I did. I. I think this should press fit and stay if you get it right, which I didn't. If you'd like to be notified of other new modifications, please click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.